Good lord. Welcome to tonight's stream, everybody. I had no idea that this thing was silent. <laughs> That's what I get. And must have a lost. <laughs> How you doing tonight, man? I had no idea. I figured there's got to be some like title music, right? I'm still getting everything set up. Pop out chat. All right, almost ready, guys. Welcome Nightfall, welcome Rust Devil. Why did I say Penta? No idea. <laughs> but welcome everybody. Okay. Alright, well, let's dive into this so we can get some background noise going on here. The story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. Phoenix Hero, thank you for the host, man. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giants survive through a tenuous alliance, driving back destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. <clears throat> now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. <laughs> oh shit, 24,000. Several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the wild human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. <laughs> nope, there is not. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through its horn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Gotta love the animation. So I've only ever done the first quest on this, which is what we're just about to start doing. I have attempted to start this game many, many times. And not that I didn't like it. I just never ended up sticking with it for some reason. Um, so we are playing this tonight because this is July's Indie Box. And so we're promoting that if you are interested in picking this up. Um, consider using my affiliate link right there in the chat. That'll 
help support the channel and you still get some awesome awesome stuff and this month's indie box has indie box's largest collectibles that they've ever had before all right you've arrived just in time the chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they'd bargained for use r to pan around your surroundings zoom in and out by holding r2 or l2 and these portraits show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy is red. Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called the Varl, who take up four tiles each. While humans fill a single tile, this can have a huge impact on your strategy. He's left to move over there. Okay. Enemy tiles are red and pulse if the enemy is in range. To target a nearby enemy, use the left stick to attack an icon and press the X. Gotcha. <laughs> Come on, Rusted, you're gonna get it. Nope, you lost. <laughs> oh, it hates you. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers benefit each icon. Uh, beneath each icon, show the damage you will do to that stat. So two and five. So let's go after his strength. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two strength means you'll now do two less. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. <laughs> I will wait until nightfall will lose. <laughs> armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced to break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. If this enemy has only five strength remaining, a strength attack will kill him. Use left stick and X to select the fist to attack strength. Okay. Donezo. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used to later improve your characters. After taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy's turn. Always alternate, even if you're outnumbered. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. That's good. Good to know. Now it's your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range with these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so you use it wisely. Good lord. This is the first time I have heard of this game. Really rusted. This game has been out for... Ooh. When did this game release? That is a very good question. It has been a while. Let us see, because it has the banner saga. This released in 2014. So it was a while ago. Rig D mode is ready. No, it is not. Sadly, I don't like my... Uh... So... It'll be, even though it'll be BTTV, I'm going to try and get everything together. And uh, so it'll be using the same prefix, which is Vladim, V-L-A-D-I-M, and then whatever the emote's going to be. Wonderful, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll use willpower by moving on gold. Welcome, Penta Hybrid. How are you doing today, man? By moving on gold tiles, your unit can move further than usual. The cost of one willpower, yes. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives them a unique advantage. Your unit menu has move, ability, attack, and end turn. The ability description appears in the tooltips below. The Warhawk's Tempest ability allows him to slam multiple enemies at once. Yes! Fuckers. It's a it's a turn based strategy game, Rusted. It's it's all tactics. You make quick work of the chieftain's bodyguards. When there's only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode during pillage. Okay. <laughs> during pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. 
Holy shit. Hi, <laughs> Vlad Jr. <laughs> if a character does not move on his turn, he can rest and regain one of willpower. The chieftain will rest this turn. Looks like the chieftain is in some trouble. Your shield banger won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost damage. I like it. I have a cookie. What kind of cookie? <laughs> attack. Ah, all right, you're dead now, buddy. Take that. Chocolate chip cookies are good. So, what? Wow. Okay. Well, I didn't get to say. Didn't get to read that. <laughs> like a rabbit wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade. Quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. Rested, no, you don't learn. Way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Dorpolar King's Tiger. Take any yes, it is. Meet. Are you going to go to bed? I yeah. promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. It's dark. It is. Yeah. So now it's bedtime. Yep. All right. Time to go to bed. Good night, buddy. Um, my first name is Hidden. <laughs> um, Hold on, guys. Um, Boy, he just wants to talk. <laughs> Jonas Fatson, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Alright, Jesus is blessing me tonight, Penta. <laughs> it has. It, it, you were doing pretty good yesterday, too, Nightfall. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? Hmm. It is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hint. Seems a bit chaotic around here, Eric. Uh, I didn't exactly agree. It's up to you, but you've already got one foot in the door. Those men you left face down were scoffings. We just want to make sure that they don't come back. We took down the chieftain. What's left of them? Not much. Never was much in the first place. They were a loose bunch of thugs to begin with. I'm surprised they got as close as they did. Then we're done here. Almost. Come with me. We're going to the market down by the water. If anyone's left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Uh, first an Eden break from the start with the Ivy Pack and Humble bundle in greedier now this it's all the IE and Bing <laughs> it was okay it's just very dry content I have four days of it too ooh then his six hour exam on top ooh Jonas that does not sound fun <laughs> I still wish you took a picture of the guy actually typing in please go to google.com in a Bing search bar like I don't think there could have been a better troll. Like, I, I would have tweeted that out to Microsoft just because I would have sent that to my brother in law who works at Bing because that is fucking amazing. <laughs> okay. Going to the market. Going to the market. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open face houses and eroded stalls, colored canvases flap on a briny current. 
One man in particular blanches as you approach. Add, I'm not in the mood today. For, for what? Talking to an idiot. The Scoffling's chief and chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... They don't talk to me. I'm just going to say nothing. All right, from 15k to 150, I fucking hate you, Nightfall. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Here, I'll sweeten it. I'll join up. We'll raise it up a little. <laughs> Eric overturns his flimsy table, scattering Had's assortment of junk across the ground. Gods! Eric, laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scofflings? No woman, up by East Wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel. Disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gunolf, were you wearing green and green back at the Great Hall? No. Just bought him while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. <laughs> Better than an eggplant. Ha-ha! <laughs> Touché! <laughs> Gunolf goes off to look for more stalls. Ten seconds until it's done. Eric, that man of yours seemed unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Hod, but he used to be scoffling. If they're licking their wounds, they're probably gone old to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall? Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Oh, damn. Okay. So, whenever I win, you all get... You all win. That, 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 I'm just... That's gonna be the way it is now. If I win, you all win. Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls on the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Um, shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor rem remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. <laughs> If Vlad is in, Nightfall should always die. <laughs> you guys lucked out last night. I doubled like 24,000, I think, is what you guys got. Like, you guys got a lot of pixels last night, and you've already blown through them all this morning. <laughs> or this evening. Okay, um, we need to go to the meat house. You arrive in front of what must be Nobleman. A few minutes later, Eric appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Volgard. I'll point him out. <laughs> Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? Let's get it over with. 12k. Okay. <laughs> That's the spirit, says Volgard. Okay. Here we go. Volgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scofflings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead steins in the process. Penta, that's just the way it goes. Is if I win, since pixels mean absolutely nothing to me, everybody wins. <laughs> and Rust Devil won. You were right. Your theory, your theory is, is true so far. Select a unit with that. Yeah, yeah. To deploy them in any of the blue titles. Okay. Um, but I. So you guys are all deployed, so we're we're good. Triangle to start. Oh, look at them, it's gonna be butchery. Oh shit. Alright, um Stonewall.
God damn it. Rally gives two willpower to an ally at any range. He doesn't really need willpower, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> you guys should have enough. Come on, Nightfall. You should be good. You're the one that started it. <laughs> Oh, that is going to take me forever to get used to. I like to use... For some reason, with tactics games, I like to use the directional pad, and that is what's going on there. It wants me to use the joystick instead. And that's frustrating. That is going to take some time to get used to. Can I attack from this spot? I can. <laughs> Maybe? No? No. No. Oh, but I'm gonna hit my own guy. Fuck it. Alright, ending turn then. Here we go. <sighs> Pent is just going for broke and he keeps winning. Nightfall wins again. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, my bot likes you, man. My bot likes you a lot. That's how I am, Penta. I get it. I get in any place that's got a currency, and it's okay. I'm just gonna gamble it all and see what happens. No, 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 not cool. There's so much going on here right now. I can't, I can't see. I, is there any way I can, like, turn those off? I can't see what's going on. I can't. Oh, this isn't. That is frustrating. It is really frustrating. Cannot see at all. I don't know where <sighs> rigged. <laughs> Jonas, you can just like I told everyone else, you can go in and you can look under the pics and memes section on Discord <laughs> and right there it'll show you the probability of winning. I don't know why it my bot seems to pick one person it likes for a night and that, that's who it focuses on. I don't know if that guy's is that dude good like I don't know if I'm fighting someone that's good or bad it must be a good person that I just walked next to and wasted my turn great so there's no distinguishing oh this is I don't like that I don't like that at all Don't try to trick me with math and tactics. <laughs> I should know better, right? Um, how is he not dead yet? No problem, rusted devil. So there is a cooldown, or did he already start it? He started it, okay. I have no idea what's going on right now. Th these... There's no way to get rid of them. There is no way. Um, no, it's not that. No. Oh my god, there is. There we go. God, that... Oh. Jesus. 
Jonas won. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So we are good. Did he just kill... He just killed Eric, I believe. That's not good. <laughs> Nightfall wins again. What the hell, bot? Too funny when Nightfall keeps winning like that. 80%? What? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this dude's down. Coming up from behind, he's done. Everyone's out of pixels, but I. It's, it's on, no offense, it's kind of a personal problem. <laughs> One, thank you. <laughs> there they are. Gods be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows out to, onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of blood red and blues. One banner I know well. Fognir. Next for Varl Kingship last we spoke. The other flag? Looks important. Yeah, important guests. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, uh, things make a little more sense. You'd hope I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure that there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? <sighs> what is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from, from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. I know, Nightfall's, Nightfall's addicted. <laughs> He's got an issue. <laughs> and I am an enabler because I just give away free pixels like crazy. <laughs> Wagner. A familiar Varl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version trampling the halls of Grothaheim. Abundant in purpose. Gods, Ubin. You look ancient. You're looking ancient. Comes with being old, and if there's Wagner, there must be Hakon. Must there? Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old Yaks. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Jorunder demands it. I'll take that over lingering to death in Grofheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Ehrenbag, in fact. I'm glad for it. Hakan motions to the other ships in the bay, sails still fluttering. Golden wolf head emblazoned on red. The king of men, or someone on his behalf. Flat increases the threshold to 40k. Let's see how big his balls are. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Here. Games. Slots. Max bet. We're going to put it to 50,000. All right, it's up to 50k. You you can bet it all in one fell swoop. The king's whelp. The king's son, Luden. Don't you know Scar 
Scrivener. We visit his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakan has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakan. Then you're going to Grofheim? I have the district, the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'll dr I drink a week away, but ah, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is Morg? Harkin, Harkin, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm headed up to meet the governor. A host of giants depart in his wake. He recognizes a few. Others are strangers to you. Alright, Nightfall spins the wheel. I will shit everyone's pants if he wins. Oh, he lost. I would have been really pissed if he had won. <laughs> Oh man, that's good. <laughs> I guess I'm off to find more gear. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Luden looks for all the world of the sort of a boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. <laughs> so Penta, did you get your uh, problems with PUBG resolved by any chance? Weariness suddenly settles in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it's been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakan or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. It's okay, you've lost money, but you've earned respect. <laughs> We're pretty big pent in a better way. 43,000. <laughs> uh, I am always for going and drinking a beer with friends. Yeah, since the stream. Scrivener! You find Hawken in a mead house surrounded by other Varl. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees this many. Hawken waves you over. Went straight for a flagon? Wagner's the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What this time? When I got here, the great hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. <laughs> Humans. I guess if I only lived as long as a yawks fart, I might be desperate to make something of myself, too. It's not too late to start trying, Hacken. Hacken lets slip a low chuckle. Any Varl can recount his deeds, known he as he is for cutting a swath through dredge at Wagner's side in the Second War, and regularly since then. Um, haven't launched it since then. I'm hoping it fixes a tried worked. That'd be awesome, dude. Enable you, Vlad. <laughs> Nightfall, I see you're new here. Welcome to the stream, Kappa. <laughs> Uh, that's great. I know that's the only downside to this bot is it bases user level off of how much currency you have. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point, just another reason to go back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the meat house becomes overbearing and step back into the cool air outside. <clears throat> Alright, off to go see who this is. Is this the right place? You find the prince at an inn. Guards blanketed the building, including a sharp-eyed varl who must be working for Luton. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Luton. Yes, you're Wagner. I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Wagner a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grofheim with my guards. Luden looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? 
I worked for the king, carrying tithes to the capital. We crossed by chance. Oh, a tax collector. Fine company. What do you want? Um, but I'm not the only person with the BSOD issue on PUBG lately. Apparently it's been an issue. Well, that's a bummer. My computer's a fucking... I was about to say, isn't your computer a beast? Like, it should handle that, no problem. Had my first crash the other day as well. Huh. Did they update recently? Um, just to introduce myself, I hope to learn more about you. I have a habit of recording history. I thought we might talk about your visit. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that one. I am holding a quill. A viral historian, ah. Don't you already know? Your king and mine both have been practically trumpeting it throughout the cities. I've been on the road a while, I'm afraid. Luden takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or ungracious, you aren't certain. Maybe both. A formality, mostly. Wagner came to our capital in our... Arborang, and now we go to the Varl's capital in Grafa to cement this guard alliance for the next age of men in Varl. You sound unconvinced. There's no need for it, and it's damned cold up here. You get the sense he's struggling not to complain outright. You take the opportunity to excuse yourself. I have a hundred hours in the game, and it only started happening about a week ago. Huh. Jonas Fats in one. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> Nightfall. Ever since you went and spent all that you have, you're probably never going to win again. <laughs> I'm just calling it now. Um. Oh, good lord. Okay. At dawn, you're awoken by a delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. Damn hard to tell with the sun that never moves. The governor's crest adorns the supply leathers. All there, just as promised, to your mild surprise. You wonder if Eric had anything to do with that. Your guards take the treasure wagon down to the gates. Wagner is already there. A while later, Luden and his men appear groggy and disheveled. Moger steps forward, Wagner's quartermaster if you recall correctly, in charge of his unwieldy entourage of warriors. You know him only in passing. He asks if you're ready to depart. Yeah, we're ready. You follow Mogur and the others. Usually the smaller doors set into the gates would be enough to enter or leave the city, but the town guards have been told to push them open, and push them open entirely. They mutter things under the breath that are best not heard. Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's nothing of the sort. Just frustrated, tired people. It summarizes Strand well as a whole, you think. <laughs> Fix your gun. <laughs> My gun works quite well, thank you. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to turn that fan off. It is... It's cold tonight. <laughs> Morale declined? Why? Explain that to me. Okay. Alright, hold on. I'll read that in a second. Where did I put the controller now? Alright. The caravan stops for the day. A gift, says Mogger. Cracking open mead casts. From our gracious friend, the governor of Strand. Hours pass with raucous laughter as the mead is passed throughout camp. <laughs> Drink a lot. Um, or toast to Wagner. Um, it's toast to Wagner. You raise your drink, toasting the alliance between man and Varl. The others join in. Luden's expression is like a stone wall, but the others laugh at your exaggerations. Eventually, you sit down beside Wagner chat with Wagner. Thanks for the speech, slurs Wagner. That wasn't much of a chat. Okay, there we go. Looks like you didn't have to miss out after all. Thanks to Moger, 
I thought the damn governor would never shut up. Did he give you his history of his entire family? He tried, and then he asked me to clean up his mess. For your benefit, turns out. I'd have given the job up to you, to you too. Gods, there's no joy in politics. Speaking of, what happens after this business with Luton? Hopefully the boy goes back to Arboran on his own, and I can take out some frustration on Dredge or something. Starting to sound like Hakan. You don't like the life of a diplomat? <laughs> don't you miss the fight, Ubin? You down your meat instead of replying. Fagner slouches and shakes his head. There's no great joy in killing Dredge, but this... Pretty sure this nonsense is some scheme between the two kings to force some kind of lineage. Used to be warriors would follow you for what you've done. Isn't that why they follow you now? Is it? Or is it because I'm the next in line? These lines are getting muddy, old Varl. They've always been muddy, Wagner. Wagner stares into the campfire, lost in thought. You leave him to it. I, I, I feel sorry for your measly 20 pixels. <laughs> you raise, you, you rise groggily, the campsite a casualty of merriment. Mogur is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Luden stalking your direction. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. Better wake up, you nudge Wagner. You are needed. Ah, it's Luden. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Wagner released a caged young and receives a hard eyed stare in return. How long to Grafheim? <laughs> We're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you on a map. Use right stick to pan around the map. Use L and T to zoom. Portrait icon shows where your caravan is in the world. Use L and X to select any location to get some history about it. When you're done with the map, press circle. Oh, every I won. So everybody wins. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh wow, okay. The Wandering Road. At the end of the First Great War, the Varl had more to contend with than mankind to the south. Above the Bratabrek peaks, and the land crawled with furious, warm-minded dredge. The first Varl king, Einar, led the entire Varl race across the snowy fields of the Wandering Road, sweeping away dredge as they went before forming the first Varl kingdom at Einar Goft. I don't even know what I would have done if you had won that spin. Like, that's intense. The long snowfields, tall mountains, and sparse woods of Harun used to be the gathering place of dredge during the Second Great War. As Varl pushed them ever northward, they took to the land and settled it themselves, preferring the cold expanses over the warm, busier lands of men to the south. Now the territory is almost entirely Varl. Okay. There's a lot. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. To, oh, so much lore. So much lore. We'll, we'll take this off in just tiny little chunks. Just little chunks. Um, so are we trying to go here? The home of the first royal king, Einar, who cur carved his empire into the crook of the ba the Bratabrek and the Wormscale Mountains. The Varl Fortress, hewn into the rock itself, eclipses all but the greater accomplishments in the north. It's the one downside to games like this is all of the made-up names. <laughs> and having to figure out how to say them. Alright. We head north, then east past the forts. Grofheim's far from Strand. Going to be a long march. You should have drank last night, Luden. Why not take the ships to Sky to Scrimmestead? What's the point of marching? The Silverstone Bay is called for that that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It would tear up the long ships. 
Too bad, though. We could have shown you all the wonders of Sky... Uh, Scrimish dead. A half-sunken city crawling with dredge, Prince. Dredge and glaciers. You like glaciers? Luden exhales through the nose, a poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent, aside the tent flaps as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Vlogner. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend. You'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off to. Luden's got a shorter wick than Hacken. Thanks, Vlogner. Let's get moving. Another half day to better fell if we're lucky oh god this is gonna be a butcher <laughs> this is a, i'm gonna butcher it all <laughs> camp camp is where you manage your caravan during travel you can enter camp at any time by tapping the camp button on the travel hut while at camp or in towns you can upgrade your allies or equip items in the hero's tent you can pass time by using the rest tent Resting will improve the caravan's morale. A high morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training tent will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Tap leave at the bottom of the campsite when you're ready to get back to the normal. So select the hero's tent. So who all in this chat has played this game? Um, select a unit and do stats. Select the ability button to learn about the unit's abilities. The Warmaster hits even harder than an average warrior with no chance to miss. Okay. Not to nightfall. Bring the pain. The shield master strikes the adjacent enemy for armor damage before hunkering down. Dude, there's somebody outside, like, hacking up their lung. They're gonna die. We don't really need to do training. I don't need to rest. Our morale is still pretty great. I mean, do I have any ability to level anyone up? Let's... And I have no points available. No points available. So I'm going to say no. So we'll just leave camp and continue on. Russian roulette. Anyone else gonna get in there? Anyone else feeling feeling lucky? Vedufell. Even the name means bad weather, where frozen wind sweeps in from the bay. They tend livestock, but most are just man driven from strand with nowhere else to go. Why else would anyone stay? We won't stop long. Good, Max Skylark, thank you for the host. I would, but I need enabling. Hey man, I'm off to bed, but I will view about you. <laughs> okay, man, thank you so much for coming on by, Chris. I do appreciate it, buddy. Um, I'll make sure to check out your stream tomorrow if you do get a chance to go at it. By Hatterborg. That's a lot of varl for some missing cattle. What? A couple days back, sent word to Strand about the cattle. Didn't expect an army. He looks pleased with himself until it sinks in that you weren't here on his behalf. Where have your cattle gone? Wouldn't know. My boy's seen men up the hills carrying them away. Don't know many men who can hoist a whole cow by himself. Scofflings out here? Maybe? Could they have Varl working for them? Not from what the governor told me. I'm going to take a look around and get camp set up. The peasant spits, his eyes anxiously darting about as the caravan sets up tents. 
We'll be here in no more than a day. There's silver for any food you've got. Four hundred Zavarl? Are you serious? Whenever you're willing to sell. You thinking of squatting? Not enough room for a couple hunters here. Forget hundreds of... Shut up. Hear that? Where's Luton? It's faint. Sounds like fighting and something else. Hacken takes off at a run. Welcome back, Rest Devil. How's lunch going for you, man? Oh, almost knocked over my mic. Yeah, Nightfall bet it all and he lost. He lost 43,000. Pressing X on any tile will automatically make a path, but you can also set waypoints. Press square to make a waypoint. Waypoint pathing is useful when you need to avoid certain tiles. Spearmen can attack diagonally and up to two tiles away. Press up to compare your stats with the enemies. Phoenix Hero! Welcome, buddy. How you doing? And he wins right off the bat. <laughs> Spearmink AI yeah, just read that. Duh. Target this enemy with an attack. And armor blocks attack on strength. For each enemy armor higher than your strength, there is a 10% chance the attack will be deflected. Notice the chance to be hit shown on the attack button to attack the enemy's strength. 50%. How are you doing today, Phoenix? Yep, he did one one slot roll. I have always been meaning to start this game and just never gotten around to it. And so now I'm finally playing it. Is that a, in a good way, Phoenix, or a bad way? Deflected attacks do no damage. From here on out, you will fail catastrophically if you don't break armor. Damaging both strength and armor is equally important. Neighbors came over yesterday and said my dog was whining and needs water when he wasn't and didn't. Okay, you're, you're going down now, buddy. And today, by law enforcement came by because they got a complaint about my dog being neglected. Oh my god. Some people just don't have anything better to do with themselves. Came and checked things out and said nothing was wrong. Okay, so... This dude has got some armor. He's got massive amount of armor. Oh no, that Varl's gonna die. Ask Vlad to raise R. <laughs> Stinking strategy there. Oh my god, once you make your. Mm, I, I went too far. <sighs> Shit. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. This is. This is. Messed. Okay. Um. 
I will get that guy. Oh, he's starting to run. He's starting to run. Yeah, like, did he inform them that, like, everything's cool, dog's taken care of, so that they don't fucking harass you anymore? Whenever an enemy falls in battle, one willpower star is added to your horn. Use the horn, we'll give one willpower to the active. Okay, that's good. Oh, that does fuck all. And we got more coming? And you know what's funny is ever since Nightfall lost all that, he's been losing. He's not been playing well. He's not been lucky at all. War Master, defeat an enemy with a Shield Master, promotion. Hacken got a promotion. Luden has been injured in battle. Gunolf has been injured in battle. That's not good. So I'm thinking of starting a JRPG and I was wondering what everybody's thought of that is. I've been kind of craving an RPG lately and I'm, it's one that was a, an amazing RPG on the PS2 but completely got overlooked because it was right at the end of this of the console cycle and so every, it really got missed out on but it is an amazing JRPG. Alright, um... <clears throat> You trying to get yourself killed, Luden? What are you doing? I was trying finding a trying to get a shot in between the plates. You've never seen a dredge before, boy. What kind of idiot breaks their break their armor first? Where did they come from? We didn't even see them. They were just there. Hakan goes to where Wagner lies face down. The future Varl King lies motionless aside from a spreading pool of blood. Fogged is dead. Oh shit. <laughs> I know I didn't say Jonas. I meant not to. <laughs> All, right. um, All about the anticipation. Um, a rogue galaxy. Where did that thing come from? Shh, stay close. I think it saw us. Rogue Galaxy is an amazing game. Cursed by Penta. <laughs> Deployment happens before battle. Select your units. Okay. These are the only units that I have. So. 
careful, don't get too close. It is a good one. And it was one that was sadly really looked over. Oh, damn. Thread the needle. I gotta be in line with him. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, we need to go behind. Mark Prey does one da one arm damage and allies within range automatically attack the target. Okay. There we go. There we go. Level 5 are amazing devs. I love all their games. Ooh, it is a good game. I think that, you know, if you guys are interested, I just wasn't sure because it'll take. It'll probably only be like one, one maybe two nights a week for a while. It'll take a while to play. It's a long game, but um, if you guys are interested in seeing it, I, I've kind of been craving an RPG lately. Thorn squares indicate the range of the unit's attack. Archers, like Rook and Alet, have a much longer range than melee units. Used to target enemy with attack range. Leave her alone. Oh shit. Um It's about a thirty hour game. That's if you're just doing the story. Was that a dredge? Alette looks calm, but you can tell her heart is about to beat right out of her chest. It was. Let me see. Are you hurt? No, I'm... I'll be fine. When the dredge attacked your cart and the ox bolted, it spilled most of your supplies. You can see more dark figures moving through the trees when you glance that direction. All that food. That's the last we're going to get before winter. Do we... What do we do? Don't run. Let me think. Oh. Forget the supplies. Let's get back to Skogger. If we hurry, we can gather them before more dredge appear. Do you think you can handle more of them? Uh, maybe if we hurry, we can get... I can see them in the trees. Are, are you sure about this? No. We have to try. Be quick. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. This was a mistake. Alette calms the yaks while you frantically toss supplies back into the cart. More dredge emerge, but you manage to get the cart moving again before they can close in. Colossal figures slowly recede into the distance. I'll join in. Why not? Supplies. Supplies represent food and other goods used to keep everyone alive on the road. When supplies are gone, people will start to die of starvation. The more people in the caravan, the faster supplies will diminish. You can see how many days the supplies you have left on travel display at the top of the screen. Most towns will have supplies to sell, as well as a few items. I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. With all the text heaviness of this. I am parched, so I'm gonna just, I will be right back.
<clears throat> Rusted Devil won. Nicely done. Okay, where do we need to go? Morale declined. Oh no. Maddie, stay over here. Seems the luck has changed. I never expected to see the dredge with my own eyes. What happened in the north? Already we see more between the trees as we approach our home, and Alette grips my hand tight. We must find Ivor. My, how things have changed. <laughs> So I need a pixel boss emote too. <laughs> Ivor. The enormous varl in question towers over the men in the training field. He squints as you approach. Yeah, pixel boss would be great. Already back, Huntmaster. Thought you'd be tomorrow. Dredge, everywhere. Dredge? How did they get through Greyhorn? Must have been broken through the fort. The fighters nearby have stopped sparring. They gather around you. Damn it! They'll be here soon if they're not already. You hear screams from the outskirts. People are running toward the Great Hall. I've returned to one of the older boys in this group of fighters. Hey, Gil, take Alette into the Great Hall. Tell the Chieftain what's happening. The rest of you gather up as many people as you can. Come on, Alette. No, wait. I, I want to help. Let them fight, Ivor. Why not invite some goats to join us, too? You're asking for dead kids. I won't let anything happen to her. They'll have to deal with it sooner or later, Ivor. What now? Hey, Gil, keep your shield up. We must hold them off until everyone's inside, then we figure out what to do next. More shouts draw your attention to some houses atop a nearby hill. Whenever Phoenix comes in, he replaces the current Pixel Boss by default. <laughs> Pixel Boss, Vlad Rage, Vlad Hype, and Vlad Rig. <laughs> I can't even think of what, what would a Pixel Boss be. I'm... So I've always had this, like view of like what the pixels are just like this really bright golden cube essentially would it just be that with the word boss next under it or in front of it like how would you do that pixel with a crown <laughs> sure enough dredge and ga are gathering in number you hear misplaced laughter nearby past a pile of corpses a man in single handed is single handedly holding back four dredge with battered spear behind you Trigaville shouts Ivor who shoots you shoots you a dour look if Trigvi is known for being a madman at least he's the sort who can hold a spear in the right direction he smiles a mile wide then he realizes you're going to have to fight your way out of this Um, rusted. It is not. I. You know what? I haven't looked at it in a few days. Let me. I gotta even remember what I did on that. Hold on. That was an announcement, right? Yes, it was. So I think it was leaning towards keeping everything into uh, Twitch subs. Which, yeah. Which I think is what I'm going to end up doing. Is we'll be... I'll be ditching Game Wisp. I do hope to someday make my own website. I don't know when that's going to be. But someday. Um, 
to where I can do like more detailed stream updates and stuff. Um, but I think that as far as like the Twitch, re the sub rewards, I think I'm going to in those. I'll have to make a new panel on my Twitch profile, but they will be um, all integrated by using Twitch subs. God damn it, someone's salty. <laughs> Units move in the order you place them, from left to right. This initiative order is very important when setting up strategies. For example, put archers after melee units so that they can stay safe behind your heavy hitters. Drag the units icon to rearrange their turn order. It does not tell me who's an archer and who isn't, though. To which I have to look at this. And none of you are set to be... Okay, so you're... You guys are all close. You guys are ranged. So let's move you over there. I guess move you there. Yeah, that that should do, right? I think so. That seems good. I think. Oh, well, that's bracelet. Lovingly made by a hunter's wife to keep her daughter safe from harm. Plus one armor, one strength, and one willpower. Oh, I can give the item. So we'll give that to her. And then he's got his item. 10% chance of 2x. 2 times strength damage. Whew. Um, is that, that all? Or am I, I'm, I'm done. Oh, ready for battle. If I don't win everything, I know it's a lie. <laughs> Nightfall feels the hatred from the bot. Look what I've done. I've created a gambling addict. <laughs> okay, so everybody's here. Alright. Oh dude, those guys look big. Those guys look big. Nope, that's not gonna do anything. Okay. Hell yes. And so I gotta think about what I'm gonna... Oh no, did that... Okay, he didn't die. I was like, crap, did he go down? So I gotta think about what the rewards are gonna be. That's the, that's the big thing. Definitely think I'll probably do some custom sounds. Kind of like what Penta's done. That seems to be a pretty easy reward to give. He's got a lot in pale. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The only downside with sounds is my current setup. So, when I am playing on PS4 like I am now, uh, because I'm not using a capture card, like I'm streaming straight from the system, sounds won't work. They'll only work when I do PC streams until I can get my PC built, and then I will have the, uh, I'll have it going through a capture card at that point. So, like, as long as if anyone subs, like, as long as they're okay with that, like, understanding that that is what how it's gonna work for the time being, um, then I mean it shouldn't be an issue. What what am I doing here? There we go. Um, at that point, I'd almost say like we can go with a custom like text command as well. So. 
to answer your question, Rusted, I mean, they could be as soon as now. It just depends on if the person is okay with waiting for the sounds, like understanding that they're not going to be constant. Rust Devil wins. Hey, yep, Rust Devil's the new pit boss. Or uh, pixel boss. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. I don't know which one I'm attacking, to be honest. Okay, I was attacking him. <laughs> and then once the PC's up and running, it'll be all the freaking time. Ooh, pushed him out of the way. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, don't, don't attack him. Am I attacking my own dude? I think I am. What is his health at? One out of nine. Oh, shit. We need to get you out of there. Had to come and watch. I was falling asleep at work. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. How you doing, man? Blocks three damage per hit. I don't... There's no way to heal, is there? That's not good. Eh, yeah, bosses are the worst, aren't they? Or, it's only one, where is that six? Let's go with that one. Oh god. Devil, thank you so much for the subscription, man. For a month, thank you so much, dude. Um, <laughs> I really do appreciate that. You really didn't have to. Uh, let me know in the Discord. Uh, we'll we'll talk on on sounds. I do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. You, that's awesome. All right. Oh damn it! Why do I keep? No. I keep doing that. Um, so that's one. That's the only guy I can attack, so... Well, Nightfall, I, I mean, really it is never expected from anybody. Um, just people being here is amazing in itself. Um, So thank you. I mean, I do just appreciate everybody being here. It's awesome. You guys make this fun and why I enjoy doing this. Oh, gee, this dude's dead. This dude's dead. Well, I appreciate it, Rusted Devil. You've been an awesome viewer. I enjoy having you in chat. You've made my Discord much more lively lately, which has been awesome. I'm gonna mark prey again because that was three, two attacks, two good attacks. Oh, there we go. He's dead, and she got promoted. <laughs> Daniel, it is okay. <laughs> well, Nightfall, I do appreciate that sentiment. I really do. Rook is ready for promotion. Alette is ready for promotion. Tirgvi and Igil are injured. Not bad. Combat can be unforgiving. Don't hesitate to change the diff... I cannot speak. Don't hesitate to change the difficulty of battle if it leaves you frustrated or if you find yourself needing a tougher challenge. Use the options menu to change difficulty. Don't worry, you can change the difficulty at any time and it has no effect on the story or the choices you make. Uh... 
<laughs> my bot does hate you. I don't know why. <laughs> Daniel, what's the game anyway? It looks like Final Fantasy Tactics. So it is a tactics game. It is called The Banner Saga. Um, came out in 2014. It is a, it's a pretty interesting story. Like these humans and like these giants called the Varl are living together and they have this common enemy called the dredge which is who i was just fighting um this is kind of following the story of i, I believe the main character is one of the varl if, uh, it jumps around you'll play multiple different perspectives as you go through but this is a uh... yeah sorry Ugh. i've had to do so much talking tonight um this is this month's indie box and since I already own the game, I figured I'd go through and promote it. Oh, crap. Where did my headset go? That and take it as a good chance to finally actually play this game. I have tried on multiple occasions to play this game, and it has always been one of those things like I've gotten one into the tutorial, and then something else came up, and I just ended up not playing the game. I own it on PC and on my PS4. <laughs> Nightfall. So I'm planning on writing a story. Ooh, that'll be cool. I'll get to you on the sound, because I haven't thought of one yet. <laughs> no problem, Rustin. That dude's name irritates me. It's all coincidence. That's some well shit right there. Yeah, definitely. You take stock of your handiwork. I think I'll stick with you lads, says Trig V. Unless you got other ideas. I've regret something non-committal. <clears throat> Black Horde is forming at the tree line. Enough of this, says Ivar, glancing over his shoulder. We're going back. Then adds Rook. I'm dead. I'm doing one more check of the houses around here. See if you can find anyone. Keep watch. As you turn to head back, a colossus appears around the side of a house. It silently looms over a let, its face an expression a stony mask, more terrifying than any roar it may have produced. Time seems as sl to slow as it pulls back its enormous mace. Oh god. I feel like if I shout, she's gonna do that whole turn and like, huh? And then get hit. I think I'm gonna run at it axe ready, because I don't think an arrow is gonna do anything a giant, an enormous mace. It looks like they bashed their hands on the keyboard. And I've been wanting to subscribe to your channel for so long now, really. <laughs> well, thank you, Rustin. I, re I really do appreciate it, man. That is... That is so awesome. I am... So deeply humbling. <laughs> you launch yourself, and Alette turns towards you with confusion on her face. Then she looks behind her and freezes in her tracks. See, that's what I knew would happen if I yelled at her. The dredge is too far to reach in time. Oh, crap. Suddenly, Agil is between the dredge and Alette, his shield above him, the black stone mace falls. Agil's shield crumples, and so does the boy beneath it. A moment later, Ivor is there, his sword run through the neck of the dredge. He's gone, says Ivor, looking over the boy's shattered skull. Alette gasps, her hands to her mouth. Checking the other houses, Ivor remarks. See if you can find anyone, and then meet me at the Great Hall. Whew. That was, that was no bueno. <laughs> no bueno at all. Um, powder crush from unusual rocks to the north fail. Waste are often used to paint shields, adding their strength, armor, willpower per kill. <laughs> Can I buy that? Or insufficient renown. Okay. Okay, so this is supplies. Okay. Alright. Yeah, some, they're really hard to say, Daniel. There's been a few names. Like, I'm going to butcher names in this game. <laughs> There's just no getting around it. Names will be butchered in this game. My 
bot still has not gotten updated with the fact that I get subs. That's really weird. One or more of your units is injured. Injured units can still fight, but have penalty to max strength equals to the number of the days wounded. They heal as time passes. Your items are shown at the bottom of the roster. Press triangle to equip them. Items can only be equipped by characters of equal rank. Promote your units to equip higher ranked items. Um, so dude is injured for two days. It's going to be about two souls and how their tethered connection destroys the world around them, destroying the single body they inhabit. That sounds interesting. That sounds very interesting. Um, <clears throat> can I actually, like, do something in the hero camp? I wanted to actually, like, upgrade some guys. There we go. Can't upgrade you yet. Promote. Promotion. The greatest warriors on the battlefield are those who live past their first battles to start a journey down the path of legend. So we can build higher stats and increase your item rank. Are you sure you want to promote for five renown? Confirm. Two points available. So we could definitely bump up thread the needle or do we want to go puncture? So by selecting an enemy in a straight line up to five spaces, the eagle eye shoots through every character in the way, doing normal st strength damage to each in addition to bonus armor and puncture damage. Or, uh, for every two points of armor, her target has lost the archer gains one additional strength for her attack. As long as she didn't move beforehand, this makes her especially deadly near the end of a fight. Don't move, essentially. I think I'm going to stick with thread the needle. <clears throat> Can I upgrade that? There's there's no way to upgrade that. Okay. So no idea R3? Okay, here we go. Armor strength is both damage and health. Um, exertion is the amount of willpower can be used by any given action. Break is the amount of direct damage you can naturally do to an enemy's armor, so we might want to do that. That definitely sounds like an interesting premise. So Nightfall, I take it you like to write then. Let's do, I think it was this one, right? That's, yeah, so we want to bump up break. And then, I think we're going to go with strength. Promote you. That's awesome. I. I used to enjoy it. I was never to that degree. Ooh, something on the Discord. <laughs> Phoenix Hero, 110%. <laughs> oh, I love it, Rusted. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, you need to check out the Discord in the pick section. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Alright, what can we do here? We got Light Step. Use the superior dexterity to move around bodies, allowing him to pass through but not stop on any allies. Light step can help a crafty landsman get safely into position behind armored allies before going in for the strike or to escape a dangerous situation. <laughs> I love how you say you have free time and you're at work right now. That is amazing. <laughs> 
Um, so, God, I don't know what I want to do with him. <laughs> what does this do that's willpower spent? Hit harder and perform your ability, but does not replenish, so we'll bump that. And I think we're just going to go with strength. You're good. You're good. Okay. This baby was just delivered. Fuck, I don't know the correct term. Eh, just born. De just delivered works too. Although that makes it sound like, you know, like... Fucking Mr. McFeely came and brought... Brought a baby to him. <laughs> you find anyone? A few. Sent them inside. God, this is bad. About Gil. It was my fault. He was a good fighter for his age. No family. I thought I'd forgotten what it's like to fight facing Dredge. I'm out of practice, Rook. Look. As long as I've known you, you've always warmed your way out of talking about Dredge. This would be the time to start talking. I can tell you they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. They'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children, then they'll attack. Even after we've wiped out, they'll keep them. They'll keep coming, trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Ask the Menders. I wasn't there. But I know you fought your fair share. Yeah, I've killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're going to save us now. Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. <laughs> so there's one thing I've been stuck on and I can't figure out how to write it. How was a soul created without using a higher powers explanation? Boy, that's some deep stuff. How would... That's getting into some grade A, like, philosophy right there, of trying to figure out, like, well, because then you got to figure out, well, what necessarily constitutes a soul? <laughs> I mean, is the soul just pure your, your consciousness and knowing that you are able to decipher between what you feel is morally objectionable and what is morally appropriate? Rook! Thank the gods you made it. The Great Hall is an utter din, filled as, a, as it is with dozens of terrified families. Don't stop worrying yet. I haven't. What in depths is going on? Dredge milling about, ransacking houses. The chieftain's wife finds you, pushing through the crowd. They must know we're here. Why haven't they attacked? Don't know. I wouldn't expect it to last. I've made some decisions, but tell me straight, what would you both do in my place? I'd have left by now. They're already outside the doors. Not so easily done, Rook. It's the currency of pet to hybrid stream. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, God, I don't know if we can hold out. That was a rough battle. Two guys dropped in that battle. I trust Ivar. The chieftain sighs a deep and heavy breath slumping. He looks years older. I imagined us fighting back and saving the town, but... Nonsense. Ivar's right, of course. We can't just wait to be slaughtered. Where do we go? If dreads are coming down from the north. Fostelva to the west. It's close, and it has walls. I intend to be free of Skog... Skogger in one push. Nobody's left behind. I wouldn't. If they follow us, we're done. What do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up on the road to Frostvor. Veller. I 
Ivor's right. I'll help with the distraction. The chieftain thinks for a long moment. I didn't ask for advice just to ignore it. Promise you're not throwing away your lives on this. That wasn't part of my plan. Ivor? Nope. Then I'm coming with you. What? <laughs> yeah, that caught me by surprise too. <laughs> <laughs> maybe better to tackle the consciousness of your characters rather than souls that might be an easier way to go about it because I mean it's because that's how I view a soul when you're outside of the higher power area that you're trying to avoid is it's a soul is more of consciousness I mean that that's probably the common link between like the secular and the um the religious side of things is the fact that like a soul is pretty much your conscious level of knowing what you being able to set moral grounds that you either find appropriate or reprehensible okay so that catches you by surprise the chieftain rubs his chin but doesn't argue from the training she's given a let you no doubt she can handle a bow fine I'll get the townspeople ready. Make your move, Ivor. We'll leave when you're clear. And then there's always, always the kind of that. I know it's kind of a trope in the with like the kind of writing you're looking at there, but like you can just go with that with. If you go with the consciousness level of it, you can just kind of approach it from the, it just knows it is. Like, all of a sudden, it just, it wasn't, and now it is. And now it's trying to understand where it is in the grand scheme of everything. Well, that finds you before you have a chance to find her. I know what you're doing. You have to let me come with you. Don't leave me, please. I'll be good. You know what? She was freaking good. She just got promoted, so... Okay, Alette, just promise to listen. I promise, she says. Ivor finds you both. Let's go. Rem Ivor finds you both. Let's go. Remember, we're not trying to fight them all. We're just getting their attention. You step into the town courtyard where you can already see dredge in every direction. Ivor starts banging his shield and swearing at them. We kill a few, he shouts, and the rest will follow. You steal yourself for a tough fight. Okay, I'm... Definitely loving how intense a lot of the talking has been. Because it really has been like, okay, shit's hitting the... Shit's going crazy. <laughs> and that's awesome. Alright, so shield, archer. Oh god. He's injured. There we go. It's not perfect, but it'll work. It's tough, though, having two characters embody one body. A lot of readers will conclude split personalities. Yeah. Okay. We just need to kill a few. That's all we gotta do. Rain of arrows? Nope. Nope. going for the big guy. Holy shit. Alright.
Oh, nope. Attack. Okay. Gotta get rid of... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He took him down right away. That was the right move. Oh, she's gonna take a beating. She is gonna take a beating. Your mythics on WoW. <laughs> that picture was awesome. <laughs> I do love it. <laughs> oh, she's she's caved in there. Oh, that, that's not good. Okay. How does this work? Are you serious? It only... Okay. That's not good. Um, so it only causes damage if they walk on it. That's great. Here's the pixel boss. Yep. She's, she's done. This is not going to end well for her at all. I gotta get him out of there. I gotta get him out now. Six, seven, six, six. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. Hell yeah. Had to go outside for a smoke break or was crashing out in front of the box. Ah, sometimes that smoke is all you need to wake up. Okay, so the problem with the deity thing is yes, there will be one, but no, it won't be made by them. That's just boring writing to me. Also, the way I plan to write it, I don't think the two souls in one body will be an issue. survive much longer. Oh, he's got a decent amount of health, actually. Ooh. 
And she's down, right? Yep, okay. That's not good. That's not good. Defeat. Morale improved. I died and morale improved. Explain that to me. <laughs> there were too many of them. You fall to your knees and soon fell. I feel someone carrying you, followed by a maddening din, then nothing. When you awake, you find yourself amongst a tattered and glassy eyed handful of survivors. A group has gathered at the rear of the caravan. Oddleif walks beside a covered figure in the open wagon. Old fool, she says through clenched teeth. I should have stayed with him. The chieftain's death hits you like a blow to the gut. You continue to on to Frostveller in silence. A let's hand firmly in your own. The chief came back to save us. I fucking paid for it. I think I've, I'm gonna make a world of my own. I can not only make my own deity, but rework the soul dynamics. That's the best part about writing, is you can come up with your own stuff. You do need to... You were the Sir Beric of the group. <laughs> Fuck Sir Beric, like I was an asshole. <laughs> Inside D&D &D joke, but Sir Beric was a guy that Daniel and I, we played D&D &D together, and uh he was a guy an NPC that played with us that our our DM put a lot of time into like trying to make him seem like a really cool guy but he had every time he rolled it was the most useless rolls in the world that we all absolutely just took to hating Sir Beric we, we ragged on him constantly <laughs> he was useless Pausing to catch your breath, you glance backward to see the caravan stretched out past the point of safety. They're spaced out so far you're unable to see those bringing up the rear. We've got to pull them together, says Ivor. It'll be dangerous to stop until at least the godstone. The path sh should be just ahead. Call an early stop for the day. Slow the pace so everyone can catch up. Slow pace. Give the others a chance to find us. You tell those around that you're at the front. You beckon the stragglers to pick up their feet, eventually bringing the caravan back together. However, many curse the slower pace and the lost time. Oh, shh. Sh definitely get the feeling that like through the text and everything like there, there's straight war going on just when you write it just think of how it fits into your world mm -hmm. far enough for today I think after a day of misery men and women drop their meager possessions beneath the godstone of uh, Ridvaldir I don't know what are we doing we just left our homes because suddenly there were dredge. Chieftain did what I suggested, and look what he got for it. Look at these people. Somebody has to hold them together. That's you, Rook. What do we do if we run into more of dredge? You mean when? I'll be honest with you, these men can't take on dredge by themselves. 
I expect we'll lose two for every slag we take down. So we run? Only if you want to lose women and children. We're going to have to fight, and there are going to be deaths. Gods be damned, why is this happening? Think of how I feel. I'm stuck nursing a bunch of weaklings. You do care, I can tell. <laughs> Men are a plague on the world worse than any dredge as far as I can tell. Chats like this are why we get along so well, Ivor. <laughs> you don't have to explain how it worked, but it does need to fit the narrative. Yeah. You sleep poorly, the sun forever stuck to an internally bright sky. Before the others rise, you find yourself staring over long, low hills covered in pines. The godstone looms overhead, the massive eyes of... That that's what it is. <laughs> Look in the same direction as you. Inspect the stone. The weathered stone doesn't see many visitors. Not much reason to travel so far east. When hunters come through, they sometimes stop to give offerings out of habit more than anything else now that the gods are dead. Rydvaldvir was the god of hunters and of wild beasts, occasionally seen roaming the land as both man and wolf. He was always depicted in effigy with his terrible spear. You wonder what he'd think about his woods being full of dredge now. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I'll do that. Thanks so much, Jonas. Did you ever write? Wait, I was an English major before abandoning it. <laughs> think I'm gonna lose now. You never know, Rusted. You might win. You might win. Phoenix is going for the 5,000. Is he gonna get it? Oh, Phoenix Hero lost. You might win. A young girl from the caravan approaches you. I made this for you, she says, handling you a crude necklace card from a branch she must have found nearby. Thank you for saving my mama, she says, before running back to her tent. Back at your tent, you rouse Alette, who clings to your arm until she's completely awake. Bad dreams. Eventually, the camp is broken down, and it's time to move on to Frostvelder. It feels like an end, more than a start. And Rest Devil lost, too. <laughs> it's unforgiving, no matter what. Even when you subscribe, you you lose. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> if night falls, losing too. The caravan halts when a group of men appear on the trail, weapons at their feet. We've seen the dredge in your wake, says one. We don't wish to, to meet them alone. If you let us join you, we'll show you a watering hole and enough animals to fill those supply wagons. An inherent fear of strangers raises mutters among from the caravan. Oh, what are you doing out here alone? We were hunting here for food when the dredge found our village, says the man. When we returned, he looks away, unable to finish. You can join us. If you'll be no trouble, come along, you say. The men cautiously join your ranks and prove trustworthy. The hidden watering hole nearby is teeming with animals, and soon your supplies are nicely restocked. Plus 12 fighters, plus 5 renown, 18 supplies. Morale should go up, and it's declined. <laughs> Is it Rested Evil or Rested Devil? Vlad, I tried the slots? Okay, well, I'll give him a shot. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> During a rest, one of the men get too drunk and end up splashing meat in a warrior's face. A brawl erupts, many thrown fists and a broken bone later. The instigators, Raffensverter, is tossed on the ground at your feet. Angry clansmen looking for satisfaction. His personal defense is little more than drooling mumbles. <sighs> Tie him up until he dries out. You grab a rope for the supplies and make short work of the sot. 
A few onlookers throw scraps at him, but most just walk away with a laugh, at least content that some measure has been taken. <laughs> the caravan is visibly relieved to find a small village on the way to Frostveller. With beds and fresh supplies, the locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it amongst themselves while you set up nearby. And Jonas won. <laughs> Jonas is the new pixel boss. <laughs> okay. Um, it just automatically saves, I'm going to assume. Maybe rest. Improve our morale a little bit. Get everybody healed. Okay. I might end up having to do, like, for some of these easier emotes, I might have to do a creativity stream and stream me making them. Because I don't know where I'm going to fit in the time to do all these now. don't have the urban dictionary on this one <laughs> Jonas hacked my bot <laughs> all right guys I think with this I'm gonna call it a night gotta do work in the morning but thank you everybody for coming out tonight it is always a pleasure it's awesome to see everyone coming out um, for good measure, uh, I just want to, okay, I'm going to do this. Hold on. One thousand. All right. One last one, everybody, because I just did this. Everyone get in. <laughs> Phoenix Hero 1, too. Holy shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is... This is the current indie box. I think we'll play this again tomorrow. I'm actually really enjoying it far more than I was expecting to. Um, so, definitely come out. Tomorrow we'll be starting a little early. We'll be starting at 7 p.m. So... Um, 7 p.m. Pacific time. And we'll be continuing with... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. This will get put on hold for Wednesday. We got a twin stick shooter coming tomorrow. And I cannot think of the name. But I will announce it on Twitter tomorrow. So we'll put... Banner Saga will be on hold till Wednesday. Tomorrow is going to be a twin stick shooter. I wish I could remember the name right now, but it is just completely escaping me. Oh yeah, Phoenix, the cap for slots is 50k now. Nightfall lost it all in one roll. <laughs> so 60 seconds to get into this final uh, Russian roulette. I don't know if everybody's in it or not. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so this is the current Indie Box. The link's way back up there. It's also on my Twitter. It's also inside the Discord. If you are interested in getting it, they also announced today exclusive... Ooh, Phoenix Hero. Oh, that was spinning. Nice. Um, exclusive item for this month for an additional twenty nine ninety nine. I know it's a big price point, but the, it's a t-shirt that looks freaking amazing. It is a uh, um, heavy metal-inspired, like, tour t-shirt for Banner Saga. I'm totally thinking about getting it. Rusted Devil. Hell yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Um, <laughs> rigged. <laughs> I need to get that emote up and ASAP. <laughs> so with that, I do want to make a huge shout out. Thank you so much for the sub, Rusted Devil. I 
absolutely appreciate it, man. That was really awesome of you. Um, also want to give a few shout outs to hosts, which is Rust of the Devil, Phoenix Hero, Nightfall, and Bithmic Skylark. Thank you guys so much. Fix your gun. <laughs> well, as a sub, you do get you get one percent more than everybody else, <laughs> as far as chance to <laughs> chance to win. I, I'm totally transparent. That that picture shows it all. Unless you're Phoenix Hero and you get like a hundred and ten percent chance. <laughs> so thank you guys, and I will be back again tomorrow. Um, We'll be playing, God, if I can think of the name, I'd tell you. It, it's something Fate. I cannot remember. It's not Hand of Fate. It's like Hand of Fate. It's a twin stick shooter that uses cards like Hand of Fate, where you would, like, choose your path. Um, it's very similar. Cannot think of the name. <laughs> so, thank you, guys. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.